green building is very important. What we realize in the United States is that buildings consume over 40% of all U.S. annual resources, and in fact, construction and demolition waste comprise over 25% of the entire waste stream. And I've been involved since really the beginning of the United States Green Building Council, the USGBC, which formed the leadership in energy and environmental design called LEED that so many people are embracing now. So one of the things that I've been so thrilled about is this development of our new office. After 20 years of working with Syndicreed, really been able to focus on sustainable architecture. It's an opportunity for us to practice what we preach, but also to learn by the latest state-of-the-art materials and finishes. Um, so we've, of course, incorporated Syndicrete as certain elements of materials, but we've also used everything from materials made out of wheat board and organic materials, bamboo, and replenishable, renewable resources. So the building is, is like my home. The building is a working laboratory. It's an opportunity for us to share and experiment with these ideas with our clients. We're using lots of different technologies. Our parking lot, for instance, is innovative and that's one of the first uses of a pervious concrete. That's a concrete that literally allows for 96% percolation of water. You know, in the development of Syndicrete, I was very interested in finding this material that was organic, that was shapeable and customizable, but also I wanted to be responsible in understanding the origin of where the materials came from, their energy that was consumed in the manufacture of them, and I was really fascinated with how I could make a natural material very organic but also have a high recycle content. We also have many different strategies. We're using our roof as a first West Coast research project uh, in the United States to study the effects of green roofs and that absorbs rainwater to minimize runoff. It also cools the roof because you don't have the sun hitting the roof itself. Our goal is to be a net zero energy uh, building, which means that we will produce as much or more energy than we actually consume in making our, our potentially solar architecture.